correlates. So the next thing I want to talk about, guys, is hair, skin, and nails. Okay? Ding, ding. That ties in with everything I'm doing. So love this little gem right here. This is hair, skin, and nails. Okay? This has, I think it's vitamin A. Let's see. I actually had it right here. Yep. Here we go. Um, and if you guys are familiar, like this has um, biotin in it and you hear all the time, like people take a lot, a lot of people I know take um, hair, skin and nail supplements. Biotin is huge for the hair, skin and nails. Um, it just makes like dry, brittle nails stronger, your hair shinier, more resilient, your skin shinier. Um, but this is formulated with antioxidant, vitamin A, biotin and 13 botanical extracts. This expertly balanced supplement supports the health, healthy development of beautiful hair, skin, and nails while guarding against the signs of premature aging. So again, another thing that ties into the anti-aging. I feel like everything ties into anti-aging because who wants to age? Like, sure, there's something to be said for getting older. You have more wisdom. You you know you're you just have like you know life smarts and you 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 know have the life experiences that you know make you smarter and but. Like, physically, who wants to age? Really? Not me. <clears throat> so, what's next? Collagen. Collagen, collagen. That's probably my favorite. One of my favorites. Actually, the, the most recent one I've incorporated into... Oh, wait. No. I forgot my CoQ10. Okay, we'll talk about the collagen, then a CoQ10. CoQ10... Actually, no, we won't. I changed my mind. CoQ10... Again, anti-aging, and this is actually perfect to segue the co the um, collagen. So this is actually perfect. We'll talk about this first, guys. Okay, but so the CoQ10 um, exclusive exclusive blend of CoQ10 and alpha lipoic acid plus mixed um, tocotrienols for antioxidant support, essential nutrition for energy creation. Again, there we go back to the energy to support healthy heart, nerve, and immune function. Okay. This um, is, prevents uh, um, nerve damage. This is huge for the prevention of nerve damage. Where's my CoQ10? I had some notes I put over here. Um, it's, it's, it helps support the body against free radicals. Um, and it supports the ability to turn nutrients into cells. Okay? So, very, very important. I'm sure you guys have heard of CoQ10. CoQ10 and alpha lipoic acid together are like a powerhouse. Let's see if there's anything I missed here. Okay, so it promotes optimal cardiovascular function, supports your cell's ability to convert an, a, nutrients into energy, um, scavenges free radicals. There's that word again, free radicals. Scavenges free radicals that can damage cells and high energy organs, supports healthy immune function. Who doesn't like that? Especially with this corona shit. And then combine, combines CoQ10, tocotrienols, and alpha lipoic acid. I already said that for compounded free radical protection. So that's a huge one. CoQ10, um, I know when I was in the beginning, before I became an esthetician, when I was doing a lot of my research and studying um, I, in a lot of the skin, I, I used to read a lot of the skincare like Bibles, if you will, by um, certain um, very well known skin experts, dermatologists, more or less. And I heard CoQ10, I remember always hearing CoQ10, CoQ10, CoQ10. So that's huge for anti-aging. Okay, guys, the last one. Again, this is the one that I've most recently um, started using, okay? This is collagen. This is, um, it's in a powder form and you ingest this. So this is um, collagen protein peptides. Um, your body is made up, um, the biggest protein in your body is collagen, okay? And if you heard me talk about skin, um, your skin is made up of collagen and elastin fiber. So that's essentially kind of like your shell, what, what keeps your um, elasticity. So like as you get older, you know, it takes longer for your skin to bounce back. That's elasticity. So when you have elasticity like this, it means you're youthful, Okay. So um, it's the most abundant protein in your body. I'm sorry, guys, if I said large, it's the most abundance. You have the most of it in your body, okay? 
and this is hydrolyzed protein. So hydrolyzed means that it's broken down in a way for your body to best absorb it. So collagen is huge for anti-aging, huge, okay? It helps, um, obviously it's good for your skin, so it helps to keep your skin looking youthful, glowing, and it really helps to keep those fine lines and wrinkles at bay. So it really helps to um, keep your skin, you know, on point and, and as wrinkle and fine line free as possible for as long as possible. So love the collagen. Also, it's great for your tendon, your tendons, your ligaments and your joints, you know, because that's what um, you find in, you know, in your um, tendons, ligaments and muscles in joints is the collagen. So very, very important if you can to um, incorporate this into your um, little collection of supplements if you do like to take vitamins and supplements. I take this every morning. Now I have to back up and say with these supplements, you always want to take them on a full stomach. You always want to take them, you know, like it even says on the back of the bottles, you could take with, um, I think it says like we can take with a full glass of water, but I always like to make sure that I have um, food in my belly before I do, because I've taken them before, like at work, I've taken my supplements and um, I don't think I've ever taste, take, taken them on an empty stomach per se, but I've taken them when I haven't had a lot to eat because when I'm at work, I'm real busy. So a lot of times I'll just grab like some nuts or some trail mix or something quick but healthy that I can just put in, you know, when I'm on the go. So I know that I've taken my supplements at work when I haven't had a full belly of food or a full meal prior to taking them and I have felt nauseous. And it's not a good feeling and it usually takes a, a couple minutes to subside. So it's like when I'm sitting there working with clients doing a facial or doing whatever I'm doing and then I all of a sudden this nausea comes on. It's really not cute. It's not a good feeling. So always take your supplements with a full meal or after you've consumed a full meal. So anyway, back to the collagen. I, I take my supplements after I've, usually at night I like to take them actually, like after dinner. So that's usually what I do. Um, collagen, I actually got on my handy dandy Facebook, um, Facebook page a little while ago when I first started taking this and asked people what their thoughts were um, as to whether or not you should take it in the morning or at night because I w in doing my research I found that people swear by taking it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach because they say that your body absorbs it um, the best when it's on an empty stomach kind of the opposite of the, the supplements so may I say you don't have to take this with food they actually suggest not a lot of people and then other people say and swear by taking it at night when your body has ample time when your body's at rest to um, absorb it so in my research there's no um, there's nothing to suggest that one is better than the other so I decided to take it in the morning now I will say this is a powder okay and the hydrolyzed protein powder, or protein, hydrolyzed collagen powder, um, either comes unflavored or flavored. So I decided to try um, the pomegranate acai, which I love. I think this particular brand, this is NeoCell, you guys, okay? Again, I did my research, so I really wanted to get this brand, um, and I found it at the health food store. But there are a gazillion brands, so I highly recommend kind of talking to whoever helps you if you go into a store. Um, I would suggest going into a store maybe for the first time anyway before you order it on Amazon or online. But I would go talk to someone, do your research. So when you come in there, you kind of have an idea of what you're talking about because you can get dizzy looking at the shelves and even talking to the people that work there. They might, you know recommend one product and maybe your research said that another product was better so you kind of want to go in there knowing a little bit about it um, but if not no worries um, so I did the pomegranate acai and a lot of people put it in their coffee because their theory is which I can um, appreciate is if you put this scoop now you're gonna take a scoop of it okay so 
This is what it looks like. Let's see if I can show you without spilling it. It's a scoop of collagen. They put it in their coffee or their hot tea because it dissolves better in hot liquid. So that I can appreciate and understand. However, I, they say if you're gonna put it in just plain water to do like, I think it's eight ounces of water. So that's, I think that's like a half a bottle, a half, like a regular water bottle that would be half. Cause I believe if I'm not mistaken, um, a regular size water bottle is like 16 ounces or like 16.9 ounces. So technically they say eight ounces, which would be half. I probably do like six ounces. And I, I don't know. I just take the scoop, put it in the water and mix it around real good. And it breaks down pretty well. I can honestly say that, that, that it's not too gritty, but every now and then it'll clump up a little bit. So I'll drink it, and then if it clumps up a little bit, I'll maybe add a little bit more water, but sometimes I just take it down like a champ, and I'm like, screw it. And I just, you know, again, I go back to like, okay, Jenny, what is this doing for you? This is great, this is awesome. Just down it like a champ, and I do. And I also read, interestingly enough, when I was researching the collagen, that they said um, to try to find a method... Um, in which you take it, try to find a method that you really enjoy because you want to enjoy taking it. You don't want to like dread it. You don't want to be like, ugh, I got to take the collagen again um, because chances are you're not going to be as likely to be consistent in taking it. Like I talked to a lot of people and they're like, I take it when I remember. I take it if I don't forget. Not me. I take that shit every morning like clockwork. Before I have my coffee, I, I wake up, Walk my happy ass to the kitchen, get a cup, put my scoop of collagen in there, fill it with water to six ounces, somewhere around there, and I down that shit. And just like everything, when you get into a routine of doing something, you're more likely to be consistent. And I guess their theory is, which makes a lot of sense, if you enjoy taking it, you're more likely to take it. If you have to like plug your nose or like gag as you're taking it, chances are you're going to forget a lot easier. So, yeah. Collagen. I highly recommend, you guys. And again, don't get overwhelmed. Like, if you want to start out small, if you're not already taking a multivitamin, I suggest just seeking a good multivitamin. Do your research or go to and or go to a health food store or order online, but definitely try to, you know, familiarize yourself a little bit with brands and you know, look at the ratings, compare prices. Um, and then, you know, after you maybe start out with a multivitamin or if you're already taking one, maybe look into like the fish oil and then look into, you know, vitamin Bs and vitamin Ds are huge ones that people don't get. All these are important, you guys. So um, don't get overwhelmed. Just kind of take it one step at a time. You don't necessarily have to go get all of them at once. Um, of course, Jenny, the overdoer who overdoes everything. Um, I think I started out with the the uh, vitamins, the multivitamin and the omega-3s, and then I just pretty much added everything else. Maybe like I added three or four things and then like later on added the, um, another one. But again, the, the thing I'm looking into now is um, turmeric. I think I pronounced that right. And maybe alpha lipoic acid on its own. I don't know, we'll see. Kind of still doing my research when I have time. Foodsy! Want to get in and say hi? This is my Darth Vader. This is one of my three furry babies. I'm the only queen in this castle, guys. I got my husband. Oh, thank you, baby. How many cats do you guys know that, like, lick? Anyway, I'm the queen of, ca of the castle here. I got my um, husband and my two boys, and then I got my three male cats. So I'm the only bitch up in here. So anyway, guys, that's all I really wanted to talk about for tonight. Um... Health is the new wealth, so just, you know, do everything you can and, you know, give yourself a fighting chance to feel good. Like, I read a huge, um, huge, I read a phenomenal um, quote the other day that I actually sheer, shared. I'm not going to um, say it verbatim because I, I don't know it, but basically to the effect of, um, and it was Jim Carrey who said it. And I loved it. And he was basically like, um, I believe depression is legitimate. 
I believe that, you know, there's a thing to be said. It, it is, you know, it does exist. It's a real thing, you know, because you can't deny that it is a real thing. I feel like a lot of people have a little bit of depression. Um, but there's something to be said for um, surrounding yourself with a good support system, you know, getting sunshine, exercising, having a good diet, being conscious of what you put in your body, you know, so basically like depression is a real thing, but you're not giving yourself a fighting chance if you are not conscious, conscious and aware of the, of the things around you that you surround yourself with and the habits you practice and um, the lifestyle you live. There is definitely something to be said for that. So that's huge, you guys. Very important. Um, I am going to sign off for tonight because I'm getting hungry. Not really sure what I'm going to eat yet. Um, but I'm hungry and I need to take my vitamins. I haven't taken any of this stuff yet. So now that I'm looking at all of it, I took my collagen, obviously, because I take it in the morning. But now that I'm looking at all of it, um, it reminded me that I need to go eat and take all this goodness. So you guys have a good night. Um, happy 96 days to me. Woo -woo. And I look forward to making it 97 tomorrow. And I can't wait till I reach a million and seven. So have a good night, peeps. Stay up. Peace. And love you.